It's Anthony's 60th birthday. I'm being so rude. So much I wanted to do that because I'm really the cook, it. sir. Joey and Cora, how you doing? Hi, Joey and Cora. Hi, Brenda. I wanted to cook. I'm going to cook soon, all right? And then we're going to open up gifts and some gifts that some people gave us and some cards, which we appreciate. And then we're going to have a little food. We're going to have a little cake. And, you know, so I wanted to say hello because we're going to be probably running around separated, whatever. I was about to type in all caps, don't open my gift on camera. But then I thought, not always the time and place to be funny. Lawrence uh, loves your hat, Anthony, uh, says uh, Sonia. Thank you so much, Lawrence. Hi, Hi Lawrence. This is uh, the party. Your hat wishes. You guys want to see a little sneak peek of the decorations? Let me show you the decorations. I'm going to turn it around. It's down that one. There it is. Wow. It's all decorations. That's the decorations. When well, Kim was going nuts all Movie. like I could I could like put the balloons together so it looks like a bunch, but I just want to give it a few minutes. I believe they are retired. This would be their job. They are live streamers for a living. Before. Yes, Elena Disco is my cousin. Anthony. Love him. Patrick says awesome. I'm working so bear with me. They are the gen they are the genius family. <laughs> Jesus, I'll go right now. That's okay. Who said that? I wish I could become a member, but I'm cold. Uh, anyway, so thank you, uh, Carol. Um, we're going to say thank you to Amazon does deliver on it. I have some decorations. So does USPS if you do a uh, express oh, priority. Yes, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. 
I'm watching on the Yeah, 
Someone said, wow, she is fast. This, she's, she's, she's actually creating lights right. One is a dog. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're thanking Super Chats, which is money yes. donations, of course. Sorry, guys. Um, listen to um, Falling Into Play CP, um, track six, I think, or maybe it's five. It's the last track. It's it's um, the Norwegian Dream song. On the second verse, there's like a keyboard solo, but in the background to kind of add rhythm to the drum and bass. Because I'm not playing drums, I'm not playing bass. This is this is not one of my demos. This is my actual band, the Mighty JSC. So it's Ben on drums, Susan on rhythmic bass, Jonas Tauber on lead bass, which is incredible. He plays bass like he he turns my compositions into like they make him sound jazzy because he's playing like jazz solos throughout the whole song. And I have it mixed perfectly. People don't even notice because it sounds like a song. It's perfectly mixed, I believe. Um, I'm singing and playing rhythm guitar, and then I am, of course, doing overdubs of bells and whistles, literally bells. I have the dulcimers. I have the uh, glockenspiel. Um, xylophone uh, makes an appearance on one. 1999, James is singing. Uh, the uh, Norwegian Dream, James is singing. We're all singing. So James will sing the verses and the choruses, and on the choruses, Natalia and I will join. And Natalia also does a beautiful... She's hitting these notes. And then we go up a Then she hits that.
That's big on the album. It's how he's going. It blends beautifully. It did just briefly, just for a second. So I'm pointing this out because if I don't point it out, you won't notice it. Once you notice it, you'll never unnotice it. Sail away with me. Over the Norwegian Sea Fly away with me Over the Nor'eastern Please I don't care what we'll do Doesn't matter What we'll see Anthony you're so sweet, you're so cool. I can't wait for Dinette's birthday, too. Because I, I can't really lose what I, I never really had. It's all so sad. It's all sound like an idiot right now. Listen, listen to the recording, please. 2014's Falling Into Place EP. Um, you can find it on midnightcattle.bandcamp.com. It's on the jse.bandcamp.com. Actually, I think it's the mighty jse.bandcamp.com. Of course, it is on jsharp.bandcamp.com. And it is also on fishfantasy.bandcamp.com. On the GH, which stands for Greatest Hits, a.k.a. George Hart. So there's a George Hart compilation. Um, if you listen to Fish Fantasy, you'll know who George Hart is. Um, Fish Fantasy Radio, Fish Fantasy Podcast, all these things coming back. Um, I know that I've been in MIA for years, literally, not my choice. I'm rebuilding. Uh, I'd want to say rebranding. It feels like I should say rebuilding, rebranding. I'm not. Um, the brand was just starting, and in this little amount of time, I mean, it's true. I was doing a podcast from in my bedroom for seven years and it felt like nobody noticed and nobody cared. And that was fine. I'd get the random listener from Australia. He'd send me money. Get the random listener from the UK. He'd send me money. So I'm, I'm looking at the ratio of like the amount of work I did, the amount of money I made. And, you know, I'm selling the MP3s. I'm playing the my new band, The Scarfs, The Barfs at the time. I'm playing it. We put out a single, 99 cents. Fucking money's coming in. I'm paying my fucking utility bills, my phone bills. So I'm just saying it was like the returns were exceeding the effort and work um but we're not talking at exponential growth then it got discovered so after seven years it was we were asked to join um kpis fm and now we were on the radio terrestrial radio we were like i literally physically had to go to bushwick their studio and now we were broadcasting the show and i used my friend will as a dj when i was doing the podcast sometimes i do four hour episodes with the guest we had no uh, I had no uh, co-host. Now, um, William Brender, DJ Brender, he came and joined me, DJ Deadfish, every episode. So there's a whole archive on K-Pits of, um, I think we did it every Monday. It was a weekly show. And I'm not going to lie. 
I, I when I hear people bitch about you know talk shows and radio shows and there's the morning zoos and nightly things, weeknight things, weekday things, and they say it's a lot of work and people roll out like it's a lot of work. I was in there one time a week, and just the preparations for that one or two hour show, and it was one or two hours. It was very um, typically I would like to do two hour shows, but every now and then she would um she uh she this wonderful woman named Sherry owned the station and she would do the schedule and uh, it was called the golden stream. And she, her dream was for the golden stream to be 24 um, seven. I'm not sure if it is. I'm not sure if she's still in control. I'm not sure if she's still working on it. I haven't checked in, you know, I'm bad, but uh, to make it, you have to be a little selfish. You have to be a little busy. And I admittedly have had my head up my ass because I have been working hard um, 24 seven on this, even now. You may think that I'm just uh, being cute. I'm not. I'm experimenting with live streams and recording because I want to know if it's possible to have a guest, let's say in Belize, as I just sang, um, playing a uh, rhythm guitar. And now I'm in, uh, you know, New York playing lead guitar. And I got to get better. I gotta learn how to use this. So this is practice, this is rehearsal. Just revisiting my songs. Norwegian Dream, 2014, JSE, falling into place EP. The JSEP2. We also had the JSEP, which is what has um the JSE theme, which was always the intro for Clean Disease. Unfortunately, Clean Disease was released on the EP the year before. Every Christmas we released a free EP. I'm so proud of that. Um Starting back till 2010. 2010 was the Blood Brothers EP. That was our first official JSE release. And the JSEP2, falling into place, 2014, was the first official Mighty JSE re release. We became the Mighty JSE at our 2012 record release show. So our 2012 album is still the JSE. It was that night that James joined us on stage and became a permanent member of the band, thus making us the Mighty JSE. And I am still immensely proud of that. And unfortunately, because of getting kicked out of my house and losing all of my musical instruments, starting to rebuild from scratch, I've uh, kind of just put a halt, like stopped cold. I was still working in my head and with mixes. I could do all that stuff. So these songs are going to be, I mean, they sound great already. If you go to the mightyjse.bandcamp.com and listen to the um, Actually, don't do that because there's different versions of the demo album on different sites and I wouldn't want people to hear unfinished demos. So just wait for it. The King Crawls is going to come out this year. Finally, in 2024. Some 14 years after we started it. Um, but, you know, this is life. It's not always perfect. Things take time. And again, I'm immensely proud of it. It's going to sound better than ever. Because I had all this time to basically sit around. And look at this. There's an H here. That's very funny. I don't know which one of you did that. Uh -huh. Kids. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is Jay Sharp uh, giving a brief update, I guess. I'm really urging you to check out 2014's Falling into Place. There's also a song called Sway the Leaves, an old favorite. I'll play Sway the Leaves, okay? It's like a little... It's it's a strummer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the distortion, distortion... I'm going to turn the distortion off and use my thin pick. Have Will Arnett guarding my picks. Check those out. Okay. Doesn't that sound better? See, it should be plugged in so you can hear the. There's the harmonic. Okay. It goes that note. Ding.
Who would have thought of this G A? Then back to the B. Gab. Gab, gab, gab. That's not it. Maybe. Do that again. This song is fun because that part always changes. So wherever we are, whoever we're playing with, it's understood when we're on stage at, even and at rehearsals, that's our jam out part. There are some songs specifically written that orchestrate. I'm being pulled. Being pulled. Does that sound better? I switched the pickup. And I know I'm out of tune. So let's go with it. Thank you. 
Hey, way, I've got a new complaint. Hey, way, I've got a new complaint. Hey, Kurt Cobain, you've got a new complaint. Even though you try, those kids, they gotta lie. They ain't got nothing good, nothing good, nothing, nothing in their bones. No glory matter to see, no long days and tomorrow we'll see another crime, another time. The world's been drowned and throws them all. The tax, the land, and innocence. The dying disease that are plaguing me, and I'll see your Johnny more come home if it won't go back to get the right home. Hey, 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 he's gonna roam. Hey, 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 we're gonna see. We're gonna see, we're gonna be the departed greats again. Dear John, don't be cold. Purple girl meets the green boy. You could have had me to always keep you warm. Please don't be afraid. You know you still got what it takes. Even modest people kick it and die. Dear John, don't be cold. Purple girl meets the green boy. You could have had me to always keep you warm. You are the reason I wrote this fucking song. Why do you gotta go and pick in my eye? You gotta pick in the reds and the shit and spin the needle through the eye. I, 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 I,
Locking, tuning heads to sleep right deep in our beds. Tuck the children in, go to Bennigan's. Stop at Benny's, their sin. Peter, don't be in the way of people growing. Burn on you today, you great. Chloe Kardashian. Kardashian. Chloe Kardashian, oh, 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 I gotta write a song about the days, not the fake, fake days of Kardashian life. They are Armenian, they are not idiots, but they're not innocent. Hey, hey, uh huh, uh huh. That's the Departed Greats. That's also a song that in rehearsal we'll jam on, but live we've always just kept with the there's a straight permanent set of lyrics. Anyway, not all my YouTube uploads need to be over 20 minutes long and this one's about to hit 41. <laughs> Again, if you happen to be uh, stumbling into this, I apologize, Anthony. It was quite rude of me to have a play for the last half hour when it's your birthday and I did intend to watch this all, but Last night I wanted to play it, and uh, you know the police might say that quiet hours start at nine, or I think actually in my neighborhood in New York City it's ten p.m. You know, and even so, I mean, you know, we hear people partying all night, or four in the morning, the karaoke machines blaring, the car start, you know, everything's going, especially on Fridays and Saturdays. But that's not my style. I'll make noise. You can see it's not crazy. Um, but I do it till eight. Eight o'clock has always been my cutoff point. Actually, I want to say it was seven. I don't remember, but you know, I, I gauge it. I live in an apartment building now where families live, children, people are eating dinner. I'm not going to play like this at seven or eight. Never have. Um, but it's Sunday afternoon, so deal with it. And uh, here's Anthony. And yes, I was purposely waiting for it to go to 42 minutes because I'm 42 years old. And I'm trying this time. If you know what I'm saying, if you know what I mean, I'm really trying here to do things the right way, and if that includes numerology, it includes numerology. 